surely you're tired of hearing that artificial intelligence is gonna take all over the world and dominate everything and scan it's coming and run for your life and all that stuff. Unfortunately, reality is often disappointing and mundane. Today, as a computer scientist, and if everything goes according to plan, a biomedical engineer soon, I will explain to you why this doesn't make any sense and why people treat it like it's some sort of techno-religion of sorts. Why actually it's quite pedestrian. Imagine there's a person inside a locked room and that person has a manual that tells him how to translate from Chinese to English, to say a language. Within this book, it explained how mechanistically, through a process in which the person involved doesn't need to think, just change one symbol for the other, how to translate Chinese to English. This person has no idea about Chinese, but has access to those methods to properly translate one language to the other. The same thing happens with a regular computer. We give them some electrical input, it processes in some mechanistical way, and then it gives it back to us in a way we can interpret it. And computers need not be electrical. They can be mechanical, like just like any mechanical device, and they can be used the same way, and there's nothing special there. And there's nothing special about this. It's like a chain of domino pieces just hitting each other, bumping into each other to finally reach the end point. It's just a physical system. The computer isn't in, in any moment understanding anything of this. Well, this is this is very abstract, so let's rethink about it. Let's imagine a physical system that we put a scale, we put one kilogram on it on a scale, and somewhere else, another part of it goes up by a meter. That physical system has no intelligence. It's simply, you, you put something here and some physics happen, some mechanistical phenomena happens, and it pushes the other platform up a meter. Yeah, 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 I hear you in the back of the room. I know what you're thinking, but aren't brains electrical, just like computers? Well, yes, but actually, no. The, the physical systems occurring in a neuron are completely different to what happens in a computer. It's just the physics and the chemistry of it are totally different. It is very, very different. I can't stress that enough. The only evidence we have of something spanning, creating, having a conscience is just neural tissue. We don't have evidence of anything else. Hypothetically, maybe you could make something analogous to neural tissue and get a conscience, right, with, with a chemistry that is analogous to it. It's plausible, we don't know, of course, but the computers we have at home, they're just completely different in terms of physics. Yeah, sure, that they have electricity, but there's so many kinds of electricity, like there's magnetism, there's radio waves, there's so many ways to interact with electricity. Neurons have some processes that are related to DNA, to proteins that simply have nothing to do with the electricity we have in our computers. To a regular computer, you just give it some electricity, some bits in some specific way, and mechanistically, it gives you some outputs. There's no neural tissue there. And that's why for many years now, I've thought that artificial intelligence is just an almost 100-year-old relic that just has no meaning these days. It was just an analogy that was made back then when we didn't understand things better. <laughs> and I do understand the potential confusion on this, like, sure, machines have electricity, it's just a electrical brain, but unfortunately, the brain is something that is way more complex and we still, to this day, don't understand it fully. With this, I'm not saying you can't make an artificial brain just like with the one we have, but if we were to create an artificial brain with a chemistry that is analogous to ours, it would be just a person. It wouldn't be something alternative or special. In that case, it would be just people. There would not be any kind of moral issue. There would be people just made in a lab. 
I hear you, Leon, but if artificial intelligence is not that, then what it is then? It's exactly as I explained at the beginning. It's just a mechanistical process. The only thing is that process represents uh, mathematical equations or whatever that let us calculate things. In this case, we're just solving logical problems with a machine. Say we input 12 bits in a machine and we get back four. And that simply represents a series of equations or processes or logics. And those four bits mean something for us because we've designed the machine to reflect those equations. Even though our modern day computers are working with electricity, they're no more than an abacus on asteroids. <laughs> However, artificial intelligence does have real problems, but they're not related to the rebellion of the machines. They're actually more mundane stuff, which is actually pretty dangerous though. For example, we have deep fakes today, like algorithms that swap your face with another one's face in, in a video, which is terrifying. And speaking of Chinese, we have the Ch China government just using a social system score managed by algorithms to to know if, it, if they can give you um, a loan or if you can buy something. Or if you can have a job. This system can fail in so many ways. Imagine if an AI is programmed to deal with nuclear warfare because a person's not able to destroy the human race or themselves in this case, but a machine is just automatic. These are some real examples that were featured in a Yoni Harris video. Uh, I will put it down in the description if you want to check it out. And as someone that had to study AI for a full year back in my degree, all of these dangers of AI are pretty real. And none of them are related to Skynet. <laughs> this is not what I usually do for my channel. I usually do video game stuff. But if you liked it, just do all the YouTube jazz and that let me know that you you liked it and i'll make more furthermore if you wanna just give me a couple bucks there's my coffee there and i leave you with a random video from my channel because it, i've never done a science video on this so i don't know if uh, you're gonna like a specific video so there you have it